Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Welcome you all to my channel, and this lecture is the extension of previous lecture, which was about a uh, type two conditional clause. In this lecture, we will focus conditional clauses type three, which is technically and linguistically called a uh, counterfactual conditional. Class. So, before to start our lecture, we should know what are the main objectives of this session. The first objective is to understand the concept and use of counterfactual conditional, and the second objective is to understand how to structure type three conditional clause, and uh, the third objective is to compare type two conditional with type three. So let's begin. Counterfactual conditional or type three unreal. So we call it type three unreal. Before this, we talked about uh, type two unreal, but that was type two unreal in the present, and now this time we are discussing type three unreal in the past, not in the present. So. Introduction. Uh, we will have some examples of type three unreal conditional clauses in the past. Now, Abris, how was your camping holiday, Leila? Well, it would have been all right if it hadn't rained all the time. Harris, if we would gone two weeks earlier, we would have had better weather. Now, here we can see that type three. Conditional clauses. Example. We will have explanation here now. If it hadn't rained, and if we had gone two weeks earlier, are imaginary situation in the past. So one, uh, on the one hand, we talk in the previous lecture imaginary situation in the present, and now we are talking about imaginary situation in the past. So it didn't rain. And they didn't go two weeks earlier, right? We are just imagining a situation in the past. Here, the past perfect refer to, sorry, here the past perfect refers to something unreal and imaginary past action. So it would be uh, like a, a different. It it would be different from the previous one. That that was an imaginary uh, present action. And this one is an imaginary past action. Let's have some more explanation. Now, counterfactual conditional. The third type of conditional clause is counterfactual conditional. In this type, the event or state is presented as counter to reality. There is no reality. Let me tell you that in type one, there was. Possibility, or there is possibility in type one conditional clause because we are using present tense in conditional clause, and we are using uh, present tense or future time in result clause. So there are possibility something to happen or may not happen. Or in type two, we saw that we use past tense in conditional clause, and then we use word. Could or might uh, in result clause. So there are less chances of possibility or less likely something to happen. Or we can say that in time uh, in type two conditional clause, something is unreal in the present time, but but it may happen. But chances are less compared to type one. So in type two we are. Remote from reality, and here in type three, that there, there is no chance that something will happen because the time has gone, or the time has gone with the wind, right? So the time is not in our hand right now. So we are just imagining that something could have happened in the past. Now. That it didn't happen, so this is the highest degree of remoteness. So in type two we were remote, and in type three it is the highest degree of remoteness. The structure has if plus a past perfect, 
in the conditional clause and a modal perfect would plus have plus past participle of the lexical verb in the main clause. So how to structure unreal uh, conditional clause in the past we use what we use if plus past perfect in the conditional clause. Remember if plus past perfect and we use model and then uh, we use model perfect would plus have plus past participle of the lexical verb in the main class. We will have some example. Don't worry, you will get it now. Now, if you had called me, we might have met somewhere. Now, we have two classes in this sentence. One is if you had called me, you can see if plus past, if plus uh, uh, past perfect tense. We might have met somewhere. And in the result class, we are using might, that is a model, a model, and we use have. So when I use model have, that is model perfect. And then we use past participle met. So if you had called me, we might have met somewhere. Now, did you call me in the past? Not at all. Did we meet in the past? Not at all. This is just an imaginary situation. So if anyone had asked me to carry a package on the flight, I would have refused. Did anyone ask me? No. Did I refuse? No. I'm just imagining that something might have happened in the past, but it didn't happen in the past. Now this is the structure of type 3. If we had gone earlier, we would have had better weather. Did we go earlier? Not at all. Did we have a good weather? Not at all. We are just imagining something in the past. Now in if class we use if plus past perfect and in the main class we use would have and then uh, past participle. If we had gone earlier we, oh, we would have had sorry we would have had better weather. If Matthew had phoned her Emma wouldn't have so annoyed. So did Mati phone her? Not at all. Did Emma annoy? Yes. Right? She annoyed. So Emma wouldn't have so annoyed. Actually, that Matthew didn't phone. That's why that uh, Emma annoyed. Now, if you hadn't made that mistake, you would have passed your test. Did you make mistake? Yes. Did you pass the test? No. Because you made mistake. That's why you didn't pass the test. So just we are talking about an unreal situation in the past. If David had been more careful, he wouldn't have fallen. Was he careful? Not at all. Did he fall? Yes. Yes, he fell. Right? Next. We have here that verb in the past perfect. Note, the verb in the past perfect, for example, had been, we do not use word in the if clause. We don't use word in the if clause. Note, if David would have been more careful, he would have fallen. Right? So that was the example that usually we don't use word in the if clause because here say that not if David would have been more careful, he would have fallen. The main clause often has would have, we can also use could have or might have. For example, that if I had my mobile yesterday, I could have contacted you. Did I have my mobile yesterday? Not at all. Did I contacted you? Not at all. So it's just unreal. We just caught, sorry, we just caught the train if we had stopped to buy a paper we might have missed it let me zoom it that you can see it clearly we just caught the train if we had stopped to buy a paper we might have missed it the short form the can be either had or would if you had rung me I would have come to see you. Now, did you? Not at all. If you had rung me, then I would have come to see you. Actually, you didn't ring. That's why I, I, I didn't come and see you.
the use of type 3 let me make it zoom we use type 3 conditional to talk about things in the past happening differently from the way they really happened. This sometimes means criticizing people or pointing out their mistake. So we want something that should have happened differently but it didn't. You can see here that we use type 3 conditional to talk about things in the past happening differently from the way they really happened. For example, if I tell you that if you, if you had study hard, you would have secure first position. So I mean that something should have happened differently because I'm saying that if you had studied hard, you could have secure first position. Did you secure first position? Not at all. Did you study hard? Not at all. I want something should have happened differently. Now, this sometimes mean criticizing people or pointing out their mistake. If you had been a bit more uh, careful, you wouldn't have cut yourself. So it means that you're not, you're not careful. And I want something should have happened differently. Now, if Matthew had set his alarm clock, he wouldn't have or slept. Actually, he didn't. Now, we can also use this structure to express regret about the past because we are regretting about the past. If I hadn't fallen ill and missed the interview, I might, ha I might have got the job. So, sometimes we also use this structure to talk or to regret about our past. Like if she had remembered me, I would have helped her. Did she remember me? Not at all. Did I help her? Not at all. So sometimes we regret about that uh, uh, about the past that it should not happen in this way, and sometimes we want something should have happened differently. For example, another example I can say that that if I had taken admission in B.S. English so I would have gotten a good job so did I take uh, admission in BS English in the past not at all did I get a good uh, job not at all so I'm just regretting right now that what happened in the past it shouldn't happen it shouldn't have happened with me like for example another, another example that if I had fair if I had filled uh, the tank of my car, if I had, uh, for example, if I had saved the money, I wouldn't have taken loan from my friend. I'm just regretting there's something I didn't do in the past and now I regret. Now, we uh, we can use could plus perfect in the if clause also. For example, if I could have worn you in time, I would have done. We can use other model verbs such as could or might plus perfect in the main clause. If I had written the address down, I could have saved myself uh, some trouble. And the plane might not have worked if we hadn't had one great piece of uh, luck. So it means that we can use could in the past perfect. Uh, uh, we can use we can use could plus perfect uh, in the if class. It is possible. And these are examples. Now here we have comparison of type 2 uh, with type 3 conditional clauses because both are unreal one is unreal in the present and one is unreal in the past compare these examples type 2 if you plan thing properly you wouldn't get into mess so you don't plan when in the present time see if you plan thing properly you wouldn't get into a mess so it means that right now you don't plan things properly. That's why that you get you get uh, into a mess. Type three. 
if you had planned thing properly you wouldn't have got into a mess so you didn't plan so one you are not planning right now and one is you didn't plan in the past one is something is unreal in the present and one is something unreal in the past when something is unreal in the present it may have happened there are chances but if something is unreal in the past we can't do anything with the past because past has gone now mixing of type 2 and 3 conditionals we can mix type 2 and 3 how we can mix in this way uh, if you had planned thing at the start we wouldn't be in this mess now so here we we did what we miss uh, two uh, type two and three if you had planned things this is conditional clause type three at the start we wouldn't be in this mess now and the result class we use uh, a word plus uh, a present sorry we use word plus base form or infinitive so this structure a word and base form of the verb we use in our type 2 unreal conditional clause but here in the if clause we have perfect and the result class we don't have model uh, 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 model perfect and past participle rather we have just word and uh, base form if you hadn't left all these dirty dishes we are again using uh, unreal conditional uh, uh, type 3 if you hadn't left uh, all these dirty dishes the place wouldn't look a bit uh, tidier so the place look tidier now right and here I am using you can see word plus look this structure is used in uh, type 2 conditional clauses and this structure is used in type 3 conditional clause. so we are mixing type 3 with type 2 and there are possibility if Matthew was more sensible now here we are using in if clause um, uh, type 2 conditional clause if Matthew was more sensible he would have worn uh, he would have worn a suit to the interview right so it means that Matthew is not sensible or he's not more sensible that's why that he uh, didn't wear a suit to the interview so here if Matthew was more sensible is this is the example of ty type 2 conditional clause and he wouldn't have worn this is the example of type 3 conditional clause if I didn't have all this word this is the example of type 2 unreal conditional clause in the present uh, if I didn't have all this work to do I would have gone out for the day and in the main class we are using type 3 unreal conditional clause unreal uh, main clause in the uh, we uh, we are using uh, in main clause uh, model verb plus uh, past participle so it means that we can mix type 2 with 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 type 3 conditional so these were the examples of the mixing of type 2 and type 3 conditional clauses thank you so much this was all about this lecture